Hey witches, I hope that you all are doing well. Today is number 23 of our 28-day witchy challenge. Crazy that it's been going by so fast. So today is watch a witchy movie. And the movie that I have today is... Suspiria. Now, this movie is easily probably in my, like, top ten list of favorite movies of all time, period, of, like, any movie. However, for this challenge, we're supposed to be watching specifically, like, a witchy movie. And I love practical magic. I love the craft. Love all that. Um, but I think that this movie gets slept on. Now, this one in particular is the 2018 version, Chef's Kiss. That would be the one that I would recommend watching. Um, there is like a 1970s version that's really good too, but has a totally different ending. So I would recommend watching the 2018 Suspiria right here. So a little bit about this film. Basically, in this movie, um, like, it kind of features like a ballerina academy where these young women are learning their traditional studies, but they're also learning um, like performative ballet. And allegedly in the witch, or allegedly in the school, <laughs> it's like ran by witches. Um, and there's like rumors about the school being ran by a coven and something happening to like the Valley Victorian every year. So it's got like some true crime elements to it. It's got like some horror elements to it. Um, it's got just a lot of occult goodness as well. Like I think especially if you're into like traditional witchcraft, you'll notice things um, like conjurations, summonings, pacting with demons, or like a Boleyn ritual dagger. All of that is in the film. So. For me, this is a 10 out of 10. I have personally bullied probably eight of my friends now into watching this. I've probably seen this movie myself at least half a dozen, if not more, um, times. I really, really love it. I just think it really depicts witchcraft in such a primal, ethereal, otherworldly sort of way that's not like a cute practical magic sort of way. Not that I don't like practical magic, because that's iconic, but this to me gives me more trad, like, occult, witch, coven vibes. Love it. And it's part of a three-mother trilogy. Uh, the Mother of Sighs, which is Suspiriorum, the Mother of Tenebrium, which is the Mother of Darkness, and the Mother of Lacrimosa, which I think is the Mother of Tears. Check it out, you guys. And, yeah, blessed be. See you in hell.